y let's quickly get the value of our what x i would like you to watch to the end because the most interesting part is where we substituted what we got into this equation to prove that what we got is right okay all right now let's begin before that let me introduce you to this law of indices or exponent the law that states that a to the power of m over n is equal to the nth root of a raised to the power of m okay the nth root of a to the power of m now we need to write this in this form okay so that simply means that we can rewrite this as what 256 raised to the power of because this is 1 okay so it's going to be 1 divided by what 2x is equal to 2x now in order for me to have this like i just want to have 256 on its own i'm going to raise each of these to the power of 2x okay so i will now do that 256 raised to the power of 1 over 2x raised to the power of 2x is equal to 2x to the power of 2x now when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n okay this same thing as a to the power of m times n which is mn so we are going to apply that here that means this is same thing as 256 to the power of 1 over 2x multiplied by 2x and when 1 over 2x is multiplied by 2x these 2x will divide this 2x and we have that 256 is equal to 2x to the power of 2x all right now we continue 256 can be written as 2 to the power of 8 okay so this is equal to 2x to the power of 2x now we can write this as 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 4 right because 8 is sent in as 2 to 2 multiplied by 4 is equal to 2x to the power of 2x now Recall that a to the power of mn is the same thing as a to the power of m raised to the power of what? n. Or a to the power of n raised to the power of m. So that means that we can write this as 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 4. Okay? Is equal to 2x raised to the power of 2x. Recall what I said that you should stay to the end and see how we substituted the solution we got. Now, 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So, what we have now is 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 2x to the power of 2x. Now, we can equate by comparison. You can see that 4 is equal to 2x, right? So, we can write that 4 is equal to 2x. Now, let's continue. Now, we can solve this in this form. Since 4 is equal to 2x, and we are looking for the value of x, let's just divide both sides by 2, okay? So divided by 2, divided by 2, so we have that 2 is equal to x. Perfect. Now, let us prove it, okay? So to prove that the answer is right, let's substitute x, 2 for x in this particular equation. So when we do that, we are going to have, have you subscribed? and turn your notification bell on if this is the first time you are coming across this channel thank you now this is it we have two multiplied by two right since our x is two two five six is equal to two multiplied by two okay so two times two will give us four we have two five six is equal to two multiplied by two now, fourth root of this, okay, is the same thing as 2 to the power of, this same thing as 2 to the power of 8, right? Raised to the power of, since this is fourth root, this is 1 over 4, all right? Is equal to 2 multiplied by 2. Now, this we divide this, we have 2, right? So, this simply means 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2, and we have that 4 is equal to 4. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.